These are 10 millimeter using a line wrench on this. Wow, that not even bolted down. I'm gonna have to do something about that. This is a center punch. They're pretty slick. This is what creepers use to break your window to steal your shit in your car. When you get to the end on a little drill bit, you always want to go real slow because these things will break if they bite too much. Actually, what I like to do is keep the chuck a little loose. This is a piece of crap drill and a piece of crap chuck that doesn't work very good, so I don't break a whole lot of small drill bits with it. Now you may think it's a good idea to, to drill these out when you drill them. You might think it's a good idea to get this perfectly centered. And I never do. It's almost impossible anyways. But if it's a little off kilter, that's fine. On, on one side, I'm, I'm barely biting into all of the threads. And on the other side, I still got a whole lot of, I whole lot, I got a whole lot of material left over. And the reason why I do that is because I, I, I made my own tool. Nobody sells anything like this, but if you can look at the angle, there's a flat on one side, and then I bevel it down on both sides here and here, and then I round it right here with a grinder. If you can see the way I got that. And that way I can just stick it in on this side right here, and uh, try to get this out. A lot of times you can get behind the bolt on the one side and lift it all out of the way. This one's stuck really good. It's not going to work. Yeah, this one sucks. It's in there, boy. It's in there way too good. Yeah, I'm not getting it. I'm gonna have to go bigger. I'll probably have to drill this out all the way after all. Helicoil time. This is eight by one, two, five. If you can actually read on here, it'll say use use 21 64th drill bit. Just for fun, I'm going to try to get it out now. No, I don't want to budge. Every once in a while, if you think it's biting down too much, you want to reverse the tap because it cuts all the threads off that you're making. I don't want to go any farther than that because this tap is really starting to bind up. I don't want to break it. 
I'm going to call that good. Nobody wants to break a tap. There's a couple different installation tools. It's got a little metal tab on here that locks into the Healy coil. Like so. If this doesn't want to go in, you're going to have the thread. The threads aren't lined up, so don't force it. If it don't want to go in, keep trying until it does. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. I got a little bit hanging out of here. And you got to break the tab off on the inside. I'll just take and tap this. You should feel it snap. Then you can just take compressed air and blow it out. That little piece just flew out. I got a die grinder bit for these. So it's used for porting and polishing heads too. If you, if you got a little bit hanging out because you can't get the Healy coil deep enough, you can just get in here. And you just put a little... Put a little cut on there like that and you should be able to just bend this thing get in here with a needle nose just wiggle it back and forth and it'll snap right off like so I got a used bolt just screw this in make sure it's gonna work it goes in like butter Well, that's going to work for me. That's how you Healy coil and extract a broken bolt.